All right, so moving on to the next segment, I'll be sharing my UFC 303 thoughts on the brand new card that is slated for the next few weeks in the world of MMA inside the UFC world. So we will be getting a brand new card based off the news that we've seen in the last few days. We saw that Conor McGregor will not be making his comeback to the world of MMA inside the UFC world at UFC 303. He has been pulled off the card due to an injury. So the Conor McGregor and Michael Chandler card a fight is officially off the card for UFC 303. It will be rebooked by, for later part of 2024 with Conor McGregor recovering from his injury. Now, and also looking at this in the co-main event, we were supposed to see the return of Jamal Hill, who lost at the light heavyweight division against Alex Pereira. And the main event at UFC 300 for the light heavyweight title. He was supposed to make his comeback on the co-main event of the Conor McGregor card for UFC 303 as well. But it looks like Jamal Hill will also be ruled out due to injury for UFC 303. So, ah, Dana White and company have been very busy as of late. And I feel bad for Michael Chandler here. He worked his ass off for a year and a half waiting for Conor McGregor, waiting for Conor McGregor to finally be available to fight for his UFC comeback, and it won't happen in UFC 303. So my heart breaks for Michael Chandler as he prepared and waited a year and a half. But looking at this new card here, you're going to get the rematch of Alex Pereira and Yuri Prochaska, the rematch for the light heavyweight championship that we saw at UFC 295. So hats off to both men stepping up two weeks before the event, having a very shortened training camp preparing for this card. And we've seen both of these guys step up when John Jones was unable to go at UFC 295 in Madison Square Garden with an injury. They stepped up and were the main event of UFC 295. With Conor McGregor being injured, now you're seeing the same rematch again for UFC 303. So shout out to both men only fighting, uh, getting ready to, for this fight with a two-week uh, sh two short notice. And hats off to Alex Pereira, man. I mean, he's becoming Dana White's reliable guy. Looking at this right here, this will be Alex Pereira's to fifth total fight in the last 14 months. The man is Mr. Reliable. He's always there. So hats off to Alex Pereira for always being available and helping out the UFC and becoming a superstar in his own right because the, that's a bad man. That is a bad man right there in Alex Pereira. But I'm looking forward to this rematch. Um... I won't give my prediction. I'll save that for the next few weeks as I um, look over more film and then take a more inside look of how the first white fight went again. Um, I feel like in this second fight, I will have to say, if Yuri Prochaska does not work on his grappling skills, he is definitely and try to uh, try to at least take the fight to the ground against Alex Pereira, who is a dangerous striker. It's going to end up as the first fight, how Alex Pereira finished him off by knockout in the second round. But Yuri Prochaska was giving Alex Pereira problems in the first fight, so that that's all I'm saying. Let me die, let me dissect some film and get back to you guys in, a, in the next few weeks with that. But um, I think the rematch will be better than the first fight. And it should be interesting that both fighters only ha are coming into camp on a two-week notice for this huge main event fight for the light heavyweight championship. So also, with the co-main event being uh, wiped out with Jamal Hill being injured, we're going to see a huge co-main event take place in the featherweight division. Be you will now see Brian Ortega take on Diego Lopez. I think that's going to be a compelling fight in the featherweight division. I think that's going to be an incredible fight. Um, I think off the top of my head, Brian Ortega is the number three ranked featherweight contender right now. If I'm wrong, I apologize for that. That's just off the top of my head. Um, but I think that's going to be a really compelling fight between himself and Diego Lopez because I think that oh, oh Dana White's definitely going to make him. Uh, I think Dana White's going to make uh, Ilya Tupora defend that featherweight title very, very soon. And I think he's going to have to do it against Max Holloway. So I think... The winner of this fight could find themselves in a position to possibly get a featherweight title shot very soon in the UFC. So that's going to be a really big fight in the co-main event between Brian Ortega and Diego Lopez. But I'm looking forward to that fight as well because Styles makes fights here. I mean, Brian Ortega's grappling skills going up against Diego Lopez's unpredictability, uh, unpredictable style. He's a good striker and a good grappler as well. So I think we're going to be uh, in for a treat. With this featherweight uh, featherweight fight taking place on the co-main event of UFC 303. And I think that's going to be compelling of how both guys 
are stepping in on a two-week notice as well, saving the UFC 303 event. So uh, Dana White, you owe these guys some bonuses, if you want my honest opinion, because they just saved you from what could have been a, uh, a bad night and a bad look for the UFC. And I, I and one more thing before I end the segment. I, I feel so bad, and I hope they get refunded. I, I feel so bad for all those fans that paid so much money to see the return of McCon Conor McGregor in Vegas at the T-Mobile Arena because I said on the podcast weeks ago that it didn't make any sense that Dana White was robbing fans in broad daylight paying for those tickets. I believe like a nosebleed was like 2000 or something, uh, 2000. That's just off the top of my head. I believe those nosebleeds were going for 2000 just to see a Conor McGregor and Michael Chandler main event that was not going five rounds, and it was probably going to end within the uh, round one through three, and he was robbing people. So hopefully, I hope that the tickets have gone down, and those fans that they paid, they, they give them some type of refund, because 2000 for this car now ain't worth it. It wasn't worth it before. But those are my thoughts on the new UFC 303 card that we will be seeing in the next few weeks in the world of MMA inside the UFC world.